good morning once again. While I'm here and doing the, uh, the, the the first video that I did, I'd like to talk about anxiety. I've done one of these before, but I think I've uh, I think I've lost it. Um, how we change when we've been diagnosed with MS um, is quite startling and can can surprise you. Um, in the first instance, let's just say um, you're a super confident person and nothing's ever phased you in your life. Um, and then all of a sudden you get MS and within a certain amount of time um, you lose your confidence. You, you're starting having either panic attacks or a little bit of anxiety or you, you're avoiding situations that you used to do. Um, this does happen. Um, speaking from my po own personal experience, um, some of you uh, know um, I was an entertainer, singer, guitarist on stage for a lot of years, 20, 20 something years. And... In 2005, I was diagnosed with MS, officially. Um, now, for about a year or so after that, I continued singing on stage and, you know, acting the fool and, um, you know, light-hearted comedy and things like this. Um, but I found that I was enjoying it less and less um, because of the fatigue I was getting and obviously a little bit of dizziness and, and everything that goes with it. Um, and after that... Um, I went to the um, a doctors, uh, I'd lost all my confidence, I don't know what happened, but I just seemed to, you know, I wouldn't go into KFC and sit down and have a meal, and um, I, <clears throat> I didn't want to involve myself with people, and I think, well, in fact, I'm sure MS did that um, to me, it, it, it sort of, the, the impression that I got was parts of my life, my golf and things like that, everything was being taken away, and nothing was being given back to me. So I just thought it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And for the first time in my life, and I've always been a super confident person, but for the first time in my life, I felt like I was losing everything that I really enjoyed. Everything that I enjoyed doing, it was being taken away one by one. And I saw a doctor and I had a combination of uh, cognitive behavioral therapy and also a, a mild antidepressant and a lot of self-help, um, which is important as well. Getting out, pushing the boundaries a little bit. No, I don't feel like going in KFC. I don't feel like going into a restaurant and sitting down. Making myself do it. And eventually, over a period of months, or maybe even a year or so, um, I got back to, to the way that I am now. I, I don't have confidence issues. I never got nervous going on stage. You know, So, so walking into a fast food... Uh, place and ordering food to be nervous doing that was totally bizarre to me but um as i say it, there is light at the end of the tunnel don't don't worry if, if this is happening to you it can but it, it it will be um you will get better you will get better but don't sort of just push it to one side and think oh i'll deal with that later deal with it straight away and then your life will improve a great deal I promise, okay? So anyway, I'll, I'll leave it at that today. We, we've covered anxiety. I, I do want to talk about depression, but that will be for, for, for another day. Um, so uh, again, have a great day. Um, I hope that you have, are pain-free, you're smiling, and um, somebody cheers you up, or you cheer somebody up. Thank you. Speak to you again soon. Bye.